Integrity Music presents The Adventures of the Donut Repair Club in the Resurrection Celebration. Featuring the Donut Man, Rob Evans, the Donut Repair Club, and of course, Duncan. Nice. I think we are getting better. Better? We're getting worse. Yeah, and if one more person steps on my foot, my celebration days are over. Maybe your celebration days are over. Maybe we can't do this without Mr. and Mrs. Johnson. But we've got to. We just can't quit. Not a week before the celebration. Can we, Mr. Dono Man? No, of course not, Jonathan. Look, come here, kids. I know we, we miss Mr. Johnson. But he was very sick for a long time. And I guess the Lord just thought it best to take him on to heaven. He's much happier there. But I can't help missing him. I know. He was a good friend to all of us. And he and Mrs. Johnson always made our resurrection celebration perfect. So why can't Mrs. Johnson help? Yeah, should know how to keep people off my foot. I guess she just needs to be alone right now. She's feeling kind of sad. Well, it's sure not the same without her. Yeah, she'd get us into shape. Yeah, I can hear her now. Boys on the right, girls on the left. Quick, quick, quick. <laughs> Talk is in back, sharp ones in front. Well, don't just stand there. Let's go. Quick, quick, quick. This is Johnson. I'm so glad to see you, too. But we didn't think you were coming. Yeah, on account of Mr. John. I know, honey. But I couldn't let all of you down. And I couldn't let Mr. Johnson down, either. I know he'd want me to be here. So, where are you? Right here. <laughs> no, <laughs> I mean in the play. Jesus is about to come into Jerusalem. Well, then, we'll need palm branches. I know where there's some. Oh, let's go. Come on. Me. Oh, sure, Duncan. I've got one for you right here. <laughs> here you go. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Why don't you get things started? Okay. Okay, here we go. The children cry. Uh, banana. <laughs> no, Duncan. Think. Try it again. The children cry. Um, uh, Susanna. <laughs> Kids, you're going to have to help them out. The children cry. Hosanna! Oh, yeah. Hosanna! <laughs> All right. Now, let's sing, everybody. You ready? Here we go. The children cry. Hosanna! Oh, come on, children. You can do better than that. Sit up straight. Come on. The children cry, Hosanna, and the men cry out, Hosanna, and the women cry, Hosanna, O King of Israel. The children cry, Hosanna, and the men cry out, Hosanna, and the women cry, Hosanna, O King of Israel. Blessed is he who comes in the name. Children cry, Hosanna, and the men cry out, Hosanna, and the women cry, Hosanna, O King of Israel, blessed. 
Mrs. Johnson. But remember, children, this is exciting. This wasn't just anybody coming into Jerusalem. This was Jesus, the King of Kings. Now, children, one thing. Do you love Jesus? Yeah. Now, I want you to sing it like you mean it. Yeah, like you mean it. <laughs> you'll hold that sign right side up, won't you? <laughs> hey, look! Hey, Duncan, <laughs> what's going on in there? Are you all right? Well, Duncan, what, what on earth have you been up to? Take the, take the egg out of my mouth. Oh, oh your mouth! Oh, okay. <laughs> well, why didn't you say so? Well, have you ever tried to talk with an Easter egg in your mouth? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so that's what you've been doing, coloring eggs, huh? How could you tell? <laughs> it's pretty easy. Look. <gasps> hey, I like it. I'm the very first Easter donut. I'm the Easter donut. <laughs> I'm the Easter donut. <laughs> Duncan, I'm Dun the Easter Duncan, donut. Duncan, <laughs> Duncan, I hate to break the news, but the, the Easter story is not about bunnies or colored eggs. It's not? No. No, Duncan. Easter is about Jesus, about his dying for our sins and coming back to life. That's huh? the story we're telling. Oh, I, I guess I got confused. Sorry. Oh, oh wait, wait, Duncan, wait. Come back. <laughs> a lot of people get confused. And besides, it's such a pretty egg. You did such a good job. You think so? Oh, yes. Hey, there must be some way that the Easter story is like an egg. I know. An egg is made of three parts. It is? Yeah, sure. Look. The shell and the white and deep inside is the yolk. But how is that like Easter? Because God is made of three parts, three persons. God the Father and Jesus his Son who rose up from the dead for the whole world on Easter and the Holy Spirit. Three but still one. Get it? Huh. Here, this will help you remember. <laughs> I'm going to sing it first and then this group will sing it and then you and then you. But Duncan, I have a special part just for you. Are you ready? Yeah! God is three in one. Three in one, three in one. God is three in one, three in one, three in one. God is three in one, three in one, three in one. The Father. 
mother makes all things, the sun sets us free, the Holy Spirit brings help to me. was great, kids, but we'd better get back to the story, don't you think? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Mr. Donut Man, there's something about this story that I don't understand. What's that? Well, when Jesus came into the city that day, he knew that he was going to die soon, didn't he? Yes. So, why was everyone so joyful? They didn't understand. They thought he was a king just like any other king. But why should a king have to die? It is hard to understand, isn't it? <laughs> Even Jesus' closest friends couldn't get it. <laughs> so Jesus put it this way. He said it's like a seed. Unless a seed falls into the earth and dies, it, nothing happens. But if it's buried, then it grows and it makes lots of fruit. <laughs> get it? Mm, kinda. <laughs> Donut man? What's that, Duncan? I think I know how to explain it. You do? Mm -hmm. How? <laughs> the mustard seed. Oh, your mustard seed song. That's yeah. a good idea. Hey, why don't you go get your costume on? You need any help? Well, I can get that, but why don't you set up the props? Oh, good <laughs> idea. Okay. <laughs> this is such a good story, Duncan. There we go. Okay, all set. Got your costume there? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Here you go. <laughs> All right. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? Here to explain the mystery of the incredible, changing, growing mustard seed is the star of stage and screen and coffee shops everywhere. <laughs> Would you please give a warm welcome to Duncan the Mustard Seed, who made his costume all by himself. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm a little mustard seed, no hands or feet, and my face is green. I'm just a little mustard seed, the tiniest seed you've ever seen. I'm so little, you could sneeze and I would be gone. Ah, choo, I, I'm so little, and I don't even have any clothes on. There are times that I think I would be happier if I were a bigger seed, like a corn or a pea. Well, I'm a bean, but no, none are tiny as me. I know that I would be so happy if I could be as big as a tree. I'd be happy, oh yes sirree, cause now I'm just a little mustard seed. One day they dug a hole and put me inside Covered me with dirt, I was scared and I cried Water made me shiver, sun baked me till I dried You can guess what that did to my pride oh. But soon it was the funniest thing I grew out of the ground, I was tall and green All of the birds of the air flew in and out of my hair And made a nest in my branches
that was great, Duncan. See? Jesus wants us to know that just because something's buried, why that doesn't mean it's the end of the story. The mustard seed, when it was buried, it grew into a tree. And when Jesus was buried, why that wasn't the end of the Easter story, no. It was just the beginning. So, what happened after Jesus got to Jerusalem? Well, why don't we go on with the story? Andy, it's your part. Go ahead. Go ahead, Andy. And when the day of Passover had come. A little bit louder, Andy, so they can hear you in the back. And when the day of Passover had come, Jesus sent Peter and John to make preparations for the Passover meal. This would be the last supper that Jesus and his friends would share together. It must have been a sad night. How's that? Well, it's always sad when somebody you love has to go away. Hmm. Most of all, Jesus. Makes me sad just thinking about it. Hmm. Me too. Hey, where's Mrs. Johnson? Did she leave? I think that story must have made her sad. Because of Mr. Johnson? I think so. Maybe we should say a prayer for her. That's a real good idea. Come on, let's do it. Lord Jesus, we pray for our friend, Mrs. Johnson. Lord, help her to know that you're right there beside her and help her to remember that she'll see Mr. Johnson again with you in heaven. Amen. Amen. I'm still not sure why Jesus had to go away. Yeah, it doesn't seem fair that someone so good had to die. Well, it was because he was so good and without sin that he could die to take away our sins. It's all part of God's wonderful plan so that we could know his love. That's what the Easter story is all about. Kelsey, uh, this is your part. After supper, Jesus and his friends sang a hymn, and then they went to their favorite garden to pray. But while they were there, some men came and took Jesus away. The next day, Jesus was taken to a hill far outside of the city where these same men crucified him. The next two nights were the darkest any of Jesus' friends had ever known. But on the morning of the third day, something wonderful happened. Some women went to Jesus' tomb and found that the stone was rolled away. Then an angel appeared to them and said, Don't be afraid. You are looking for Jesus. He is not here. He is risen. Go and tell his disciples and Peter. Well, the women were excited and ran as fast as they could through the city to go tell Peter. 
When Peter heard the news, he ran through the city and up the hill to Jesus' tomb as fast as he possibly could. Run, Peter, run, run to the grave. Run, Peter, run, the stone is rolled away. Run, Peter, run, what do you see? Jesus is alive, the grave is dead. Again. Run, Peter, run, tell the good news, Jesus is alive, I'll shout it for you, he's alive! Jesus is Lord, and his life can begin again. Oh, run, Peter, run, run to the grave. Run, Peter, run, the stone is rolled away. Run, Peter, run, what do you see? Jesus is alive, the grave is in. Duncan, <laughs> you're going to have to save some energy for the end of the story. You mean there's more? Yeah, the disciples haven't found out that Jesus is alive yet. Oh, man, what a story. Yeah. Can I tell them? We'll see. Hey, where's Andy? Where, where did Andy go? Mrs. Johnson? Andy? Why aren't you downstairs practicing? Well, the donut man said he thought you left because you were sad. I am sad, Andy. I just can't get over Mr. Johnson being gone. Me neither. He was sort of like a grandpa to me. The way he told me stories and took me fishing and helped me fix my bike. He sure loved you kids. But I was thinking, isn't that what our resurrection celebration is all about? I'm not sure I'm following you, child. Well, Jesus' friends were sad when he went away. But when God raised him up, they were happier than ever, weren't they? Yes, they were. And doesn't the Bible say that all who believe in Jesus shall have eternal life, too? Yes, the Bible does say that. Well, I know Mr. Johnson trusted in Jesus. Even though we're sad now, we'll see him again. Maybe even get to go fishing. It seems like that makes a difference. It does make a difference, Andy. It makes all the difference in the world. Thanks for reminding me. Now we both have something to celebrate. Well, here you are. I've been looking everywhere for you. I'm sorry. Andy and I were just having a talk, but we're ready to join you now. Sure you're feeling up to it? I'm sure. You know how the kids in the repair club are always talking about how Jesus fills up the emptiness in our lives? Yeah. Without Jesus, we're like a donut. We have a big empty space inside of us. But that's what I'm talking about. I don't feel so empty anymore. And believe me, that's something to celebrate. It sure is. Well, then come on. Join us. Let's celebrate.
What's this? Why, this is a repair donut, because you helped to fill our hearts with the word of God. Congratulations. Congratulations. Oh, and just look at this. This is beautiful. You shouldn't have. Yes, we should. We love you, Mrs. Johnson. Yeah, you helped us learn a lot. Like stand up straight and sing louder. <laughs> I learned that God is three in one. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. I learned that Jesus is a good king who loves us. And died for us. And rose again. And if we have faith even the size of a mustard seed and ask Jesus to live in our heart, he will. And he'll make us happy and joyful, just like Peter was when he ran to the grave. And he found the grave was empty. Yes, he did. Jesus is alive, and I feel his love with us right now. We love you too. <laughs> Jesus is alive. Come on, everybody. Let's celebrate. Yes. <laughs>